guys, and welcome to Nameless, the one thing you must recall. So, we had a super cute moment with Lance. Ah! And they're just, it's, it's more focusing on her grandpa this time around, which is kind of interesting because technically, if I go into the extra section over here, technically it goes, like these are the only memories that you get with the main character. And once you get through those, then you go on to their roots. And technically, you're supposed to go through it as Lance, Yunho, Yuri, Tay, and then Red. But I kind of went with Yunho first because, you know, I'm impulsive and I don't like to follow the rules. <laughs> At least I don't like to follow the rules when it comes to games. I'm like, yeah, fuck that. You want me to do that? No! So then I went with Yunho first, which focused more on abandonment and, like... Yeah, it basically focused on abandonment. And then this one seemed, and like with Yuri, what it, not Yuri, oh my god, I mixed up Yuri and Lance. Uh, Lance, it seems to be focusing like on more on loss, which would make sense if you're following it in the order it's supposed to be in, because of course she would be more focused on the loss of her grandpa, because she introduces it right at the beginning. Um... No idea what Yuri would bring to the table, but apparently there's a lot of memories you can have with him. And then with Tay, there's like two pages, so it just... And with Red, it's two pages, so it gets longer with the more that happens, I guess. But yeah, that's technically the order you're supposed to be going in, but I'm just like, fuck the rules. Who needs rules? I don't need rules. That was loud. <laughs> My headphones are still rather loud. Anyway, so... Yeah, it's really interesting to go through this. Uh, but yeah, the f Yunho's route was brutal for my emotions because both abandonment and abuse was put in there and that's like the two worst things you could make me face. Like, no thanks. Like, you can throw spiders at me, I'd rather prefer that than abandonment and abuse being thrown at me. But anyway. We are at new dialogue! And, uh, I'm sorry if things are rather jumpy, and, uh, if anyone does not prefer that. <laughs> like, I have my reasons, as I voiced before, but I know that it's not really for everyone, so I'm sorry if you're not, like, super happy about it, but once we get out of the common route, it won't be as jumpy, and that will probably be a better feeling for people. It's just when it comes to the prologue and the common route and things like that, I'd rather not have to go over the same shit constantly, because that would just make this whole process so much longer than it already is. Like, it took... what? It took, like, 15 videos, I think it was, in order to even get this far? Like, no, not this far, but, like, it took 15 videos with Yunho alone. If I can shorten that a little bit and not put in as much stuff that we already know about that has been previously established, works for me. Anyway. Huh? It's Lance who started his discipline guide duties. Seeing him stand there without looking exhausted, I think this suits him. Lance looked pretty interested in the student government last time, and he ended up applying to join. I'm glad he has something he wants to do. I feel... I felt glad to see him in front of the gate and was about to say hi, but I suddenly felt as if there were more people around the gate than usual. Sure enough, a number of girls were lingering around the gate. It seemed as if they were going to stay there looking at Lance right until the bell rings. <laughs> I think it'd be too hard to be friendly with him in a situation like this. I took out my smartphone and texted him. Good luck, Lance. You look good as the discipline guide. As soon as I sent the text, I saw Lance take out his smartphone from his pocket. <laughs> but as expected, he didn't reply and just put the phone back into his pocket. That's what I do most times. Like, if it's something super generic that I don't feel the need of responding to, uh, at least with that kind of text, I would probably say, oh, hey, thanks. But if it's anything super generic, I, type, I won't answer usually. I'll just be like, oh, cool, and then put my phone away. <laughs> I'm kind of- I'm terrible with that. Uh, but if it's something that's worth a pr replying to in my own view of things, then I'll definitely do a reply. And depending on what the- what it is, I'll do a lengthy one or like a couple sentences. I don't know. It just kind of depends. 
And he went straight back to fulfilling his duties as if nothing happened. It's so Lance. I took a glimpse at him for the last time and went through the gate amidst the girls. Here's the limousine girl! So, skip all that. Oh hey, cool, what's this about? Class is it for today. Since the midterms are right around the corner, make sure you all study properly. Oh, they call them midterms. But wait. Why are they calling it midterms? Midterms are usually something you don't have until post secondary. And the cat scratching on the stove again. Mavon! Cut that out! I'm gonna. No! You. Yeah! See, you see, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna kick your ass! Like, I know you're having issues, but don't scratch my fucking stove. Don't you dare. You went back. I'm gonna... I swear this recording is going to be filled with cuts, not just from the skipping, but also from me cutting out my damn cat. <laughs> Unless I just don't bother and leave it in as, com as comedic relief or some shit. I don't know. But yeah, midterms aren't something you normally get unless you're in post-secondary. So I don't know why it's incorporated here, but maybe things are just different in Korea? I don't know. It would make sense. Korea is a very different country compared to mine. Finally, math class is over. Oh, nothing to skip. Okay. It was so difficult trying to stop myself from dozing off. Should I take a quick nap? Oh, right. I searched for my smartphone to check for texts in the time. No text so far. God, math is probably the most complicated field of study mankind has ever invented. And then... A bunch of stuff we already know. You know, why are you crying? This. You know, held out the thing he was hugging onto. Huh? The math textbook? Oh. Why won't it let me skip this? Okay, whatever. Yunho nodded. So he looked confused. On the outside, it just looks like a normal textbook. Wait a minute. Now I can skip it? What the hell? Okay. Weird. <gasps> I made it! We're at Lance's route! Ice Prince! Booyah! I did all the right choices. Uh-huh. 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 But that's because they're kind of really obvious at the beginning, except for the few screw-ups I did. Which I fixed! I fixed those. Anyway. I headed towards the cafeteria for lunch as usual. Crowded as always. I waited in line for a long time to buy fresh juice and a chicken salad. Ever since the dolls became human, I started to spend less on doll items. And so naturally I was able to stop eating ramen and all those junk food. And all that junk food. As I entered the cafeteria, I saw Zoe waving exaggeratedly at me from afar. I hurried towards her, afraid she won't stop waving until I sit next to her. Huh? I was walking towards Zoe when I saw a familiar silver head in the corner. Lance. He was eating by himself again. In his hands was a small sandwich and a juice pack from the cafeteria store, but no one approached him as if he was surrounded by an invisible wall. Regardless, he just ate his sandwich like an expressionless robot. Is it the only calm s It is the only calm scene in this whole cafeteria. On the contrary, Yoon-ho at my five o'clock was eating surrounded by his friends. The two seemed to be equally popular, but people always gather around Yoon-ho. What should I do? I should obviously approach Lance, because why would I ignore him when I'm on his route? That doesn't make sense. But y you know what? Chariots could throw me a curveball. Who fucking knows? I wave towards Zoe, who's furiously waving her hands at me, and I walk towards Lance. Huh? I was walking to Lance when I suddenly felt furious ga glances thrown at me. At this creepy feeling, I peered around. Uh, I finally realized that Lance wasn't really alone. There was a girl hesitating behind him, unable to actually approach him. And from afar, I noticed two girls at my 3 o'clock and 8 o'clock coming here step by step. The air was tense from all the girls waiting for the right time to approach him. It was like an African grassland. <laughs> That's awesome. Girls are fucking scary, man. To be more exact, a pack of lions hiding out in front of a delicious prey. 
That's so true, though. Girls fucking do this. It's scary, man. Like, it's not as obvious, I don't think, but, like, girls totally fucking do this shit. It- I- I- yeah. Oh my god. I- I can't do this. If I go on like this, those lions will tear me to death. I was about to head back when someone shoved me from behind. Ah! Oh, sorry. Thankfully, I wasn't shoved too hard. I just lost my balance a bit, so I was about to tell him I was fine. <gasps> oh, he's gonna come to my rescue! But Lance suddenly stood up from his seat and I lost my words. Suddenly, all the lions stared at me and so did Lance. Sorry, I wasn't watching where I was going. Oh, no, it's my fault. I was totally spacing out. The boy said he was sorry and walked away. Lance glanced at the boy. Are you alright? As Lance talked to me, I thought I could almost feel the furious gazes rampaging, to ramp <laughs> rampaging towards me. Yeah, no shit! I hurriedly no nodded to shake the feeling off. Ugh, this is what happens when you space out where there's a lot of people. Lance sighed and scolded me. I looked at him in rebellion for scolding me when we're not even at home, but Lance suddenly changed the subject. Is that your lunch? Lance looked at my salad and asked. Yeah. All the girls stirred at seeing Lance talk to me first and continue the conversation. I mean, I can understand, since Lance, almo since Lance almost never starts a conversation. The more we talked, the more I felt the envy and jealousy coming at me. Meanwhile, Lance silently looked on- Bleh, 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 bleh. Meanwhile, Lance silently looked towards his seat. No one sits around Lance, and he looks at me again. What? what Um, Lance hesitates, and closes his mouth again. He looks like he has something to say. Never mind. What? Never mind what? Lance stood still and didn't think to sit back in his seat. It was as if he was silently screaming for attention. <laughs> Aw, he's so cute. I was silent at the immense awkwardness, but suddenly I realized the whole cafeteria went quiet. Even the girls who were giggling with Yunho stared at me and Lance standing awkwardly together. <laughs> uh. I feel smothered by Lance's gaze in the awkward air. I was about to be suffocated and sink into the ground. There! A huge cockroach! Ah! Ew, ew! So his sudden scream brought an instant uproar in the cafeteria. Uh, I hate bugs! Airy, come over here! So he urgently whispered. Oh, she whispered it. Oops. Is this Zoe's painstaking effort to save me from that awkward situation? Without hesitation, I escaped and ran towards Zoe. <laughs> oh, goodness. I almost died drowning in that awkwardness. Huh? Where's the cockroach? Oops, sorry. I saw it wrong. God, I was so surprised. The situation calmed down, and I gathered myself beside Zoe. After I calmed down, I felt my stomach growl. Ugh, I was so tense I forgot I was hungry. Ugh, thanks, Zoe. Ari, look over there. What? Zoe pointed towards the back. I turned around and found Lance quietly eating his sandwich in his seat again. And a girl was marching towards him. Unlike me, she fought through all the stairs and confidently sat next to him. Her uniform told me she was an upperclassman. Her curls were impressive. Hey, Lance. Everyone just stared as she confidently said hi to him. But Lance didn't respond and just ate a sandwich. <laughs> so shy. I heard you never eat with others, but aren't you really the type that girls lonely off that gets lonely often? So letting me sit next to you is probably He looks pissed. Or is it just for me? Oh, you don't have to answer. I understand you're shy since there's a lot of people here. Let's talk when we're just by ourselves. You seem to like confident girls like me. What do you think about me? She rattled on, ignoring the fact that Lance never even looked at her. Besides, she was some narcissistic character from a cheesy soap opera. Is she joking? That short-haired girl who hit on you earlier was pretty lame. You have an eye, so you must have felt the same. I understand. I was spacing out when I suddenly came back to my senses. That short-haired girl must be me. I was feeling a bit shocked that she mentioned me when Lance stopped eating and stood up. Lance? I hate someone sitting next to me when I eat, especially if that someone's chatty. Lance took his half-eaten sandwich and walked towards the front door. 
He threw away the leftover sandwich in the trash can and walked out of the cafeteria. Oh my. The senior looked shocked and... Bleh, bleh. The senior looked shocked and just stared as Lance walked away from her seat. The cafeteria instantly turned silent. But to be honest, she wasn't that chatty. Was that worth getting that mad about? Yeah, it was, because he fucking likes you and she was talking bad about you. Like, ugh. <laughs> I have to remind myself that I would be this clueless in real life, because I would just be like, what's your problem? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Even though, like, it's totally fucking obvious to anyone who's a damn outsider, like, nah. But it's really hard to think in that context when you're the outsider. Are you? You are so n not clawing at my futon. That or you're just needing it? I don't know. Oh, you're probably not just needing it. Oh my god. Lance stopped on his way out and looked at me. Like before, he seemed to have something to say to me. But his attitude bothered me. It would be nice for him to treat people better so he could get along. What should I do? Well, obviously I should follow him. Like, what else am I gonna do? I'm worried. I carefully come out of the cafeteria using the back door, and I carefully follow Lance. Uh, he's definitely heading towards the roof. I follow Lance to the rooftop and open the door after carefully peering around. I open the door and found Lance standing in front of the railing. Lance! Hearing my voice, Lance turned around. What are you doing here? He had, uh, he had on an inscrutable look. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I barely caught my breath and looked up at him. <sighs> I couldn't even look at him all day because of the other girls. I see you ran up here. Yeah, I had something to say, so I followed you. <laughs> He's surprised again. Lance looked a bit surprised. Did I bother you in any way? Go on. <clears throat> um, about that girl earlier. I think she was just being friendly. You were too brutal towards her. That girl? Lance looked clueless. Well, what Did he forget already? At the cafeteria. I think you embarrassed her too much. You don't have to be so quiet in the cafeteria, you know. It's not the library. Oh, you mean the girl who sat next to me? Lance seems to finally remember. It is nothing you should care about. I just did not like that person by my side, and I only expressed my feelings. <sighs> he was too self-assured. I felt like I instead had to compliment him for being honest, seeing the way he was so unashamed of what he did. And that person was rude. I did not like her talking about you like that. What? Lance abruptly stopped talking. Well, it is none of your business. <laughs> it's totally my business because she was talking about me and you didn't like it. Like, why is it not my business? I'm totally fucking involved here! Ugh, I hate it when people do that. Of course, it is none of my business, too. He was still expressionless, but he seemed sulky. <laughs> He's fucking cute. Seeing his face, I felt butterflies in my stomach for some reason. Oops. I felt like I wouldn't be able to say what I wanted to like this, so I shook my head. I have to say what I want. But Lance, um, what I wanted to say is, you still have to be polite to other people. You know, manners. Lance is cold, and in that coldness I can't find any kindness towards other people. I first thought it's because he's a doll, but not all dolls were like that. I can't really complain, but unlike the other boys, I think Lance is missing some sort of peace in his mind. I think the sense of distance he has towards others, like what I saw earlier, is a result of that. Every time I see that, I get worried. What is that politeness you talk about? Lance asked with vacant eyes. Those eyes were without malice and were genuinely asking me what it was. He must really not know. I'm saying you didn't have to be so harsh earlier in the cafeteria. You especially have to be a bit nicer to girls. I think that is quite sexist. I have to agree! It is. It totally is. Just be nice to everyone exactly how you would treat everyone else. Like, just treat them all like how you want to be treated. Like, it's not that hard. Like, damn! It's because girls are more sensitive. That is bullshit! We are not more sensitive than boys, and boys are not less sensitive than girls. We're all the fucking same. Ugh. 
probably. Sensitive? Yes, we get hurt for tiny things. For example, girls feel hurt when you don't say thanks when they hand you bread or coldly refuse when they ask for help about solving a math problem. And when you ignore their texts. Did you just say text? I must have overworked myself while listening while listing everything. Lance cut me and asked. And he stared at me with a strange expression. Yeah, if you don't reply, it makes them think you don't care about them and they feel sad. <laughs> oh, don't take it the wrong way. It doesn't mean that I care about those things. I added, remembering I texted Lance this morning. He won't care about that, would he? I mean, what I'm trying to say is... Okay, I should just directly tell him about the things that worry me. What I'm worried about is actually... You seem to build a wall around yourself. Then you might really become a loner one day. Tae, Yoon-ho, Red, Yuri, and I might become the only people you have. I remember the moment Grandpa passed away. I still remember what made me buy the dolls. I can clearly recall the things I felt when I became alone in the empty house. Then I hid myself behind the dolls I bought and built an invisible wall so others can't enter. Then I was... Why did the music change to something so often weird? What the fuck happened there? It's okay to take it slow, so try to be a bit nicer to others. Just a bit. I unknowingly ended up pleading. I know how hard it is to be alone, so I didn't want that for Lance. Especially since Lance was the one who was by me when I felt lonely. I am okay with how things are, Lance said in his emotionless cold voice. But, if that is what you wish, I will consider it. I lost words at what he added last. I was surprised he didn't say it's none of my business. But what that person said earlier... Lance tried to continue, but stopped. Never mind. I will show you... I will try to show you whatever that manner you call is. And... Yes? I was thinking Lance talked more than usual when he hesitated. You can eat next to me. If... If you're comfortable with it. Oh. You seemed to hesitate earlier. The bell rang to announce lunch was over. Thump, thump, thump. My heart pounded louder than the bell. What, what was that? It wasn't anything fancy. We go out this way. I'll open the door. Why is my heart pounding? Lance opened the door and looked at me. His eyes sparkled beautifully. His silver hair caught in the wind and raptured my eyes. <laughs> They're so cute! I love it. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to end it here, and I should go to bed, because I'm only going to get maybe five hours of sleep if I go to bed, like, right now. <laughs> not really a good way to go about things. But, you know, whatever. It's not like I have to be at the college until, like, 8 o'clock at night or some stupid shit. <laughs> Yay. The way I scheduled myself for college it was so that I would actually do my work and stay there and have no distractions. And you know what? It's working! But I also hate myself for the fact that I have to do that. It's awful. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later! Later.